what's up guys duck opinion here and we're doing some more flat world and um a lot has happened since we went into the nether so what happened was i did go back into the nether and i did find a dungeon which was actually relatively close i was not going to cheat and i was going to use water to kind of harden the lava but you cannot do that when you are in the nether you cannot place down water so i flew around and i found a dungeon and I made a portal, and I did cheat by doing this, and uh, it, it spawned the portal down that hole. And so I, sw I put it in create mode when I jumped in the portal, and I swam out here, and there was an island. So if you can see, our stuff is really, really far away. Like, it's pretty damn far away. We would have to take a boat to get back over there. So I figured to give this Let's Play kind of like a new life, a new kind of like a little facelift, that we would just take what I have here nothing more than like an iron pickaxe and some stuff just hardly anything just take what I have here and um, build you know build a new area we have a little a little boss mode over here we can fight as well we can go back to the hell and uh, search for the wither skulls so let's do this it's kinda like just let's just start something new you know what I mean instead of doing like a completely new let's play this is still Duckcraft 3.0 the difference is, you know, we got we're just different. So, uh, well, you know, it's a different area, and we're gonna start over. We're gonna build ourselves back up. But it's, I like this sword a lot because when I kill these guys, they give me cooked pork chops. <laughs> it's an awesome thing. I may need your string for a bed. Just saying. God, it gave me like four. That's epic. It's because this has looting on it. But yeah, you know, if I, if, I, if I knew I was going to do this, I may have brought some more stuff. But that's what makes it so fun and so random. It was like, hey, you know, that portal didn't put us anywhere by our house. You know, we've been in that same area for so many episodes. Let's go ahead and start building in a new area. Let's have to go find a new cave to explore. And then we'll go fight the Wither Boss, you know what I mean? So um, let's see if I can get established and make it through my first night. We have an apple. That's a good start. I'm not sure what I want to build. I want to build a house like somewhere near this uh, boss because I do want to fight this boss. We've almost seen all of them. We've seen the fire one, the Enderman boss. This is like a tree boss. And so we've seen a good number of bosses. I already have tons of food. So I just need to get some more wood and just find an actual spot of where I really want to grow my house. I can't really... I'm not exactly sure where I want to do it. That's I say grow my house? <laughs> So I noticed on my mini map that there is a sand area. So I'm going to go check that out. And we could potentially grow my house. Grow my house there. I don't know why I keep saying grow my house. Uh. Sorry, piggy. There's a lot of pork chops in that neighborhood. And I'm hungry. I think this sand place is absolutely perfect to build my house. It's just, I like it because it's kind of like out of the of the way of the forest. Like, I didn't want to like put it in the middle of the forest. It's like too much. Hmm. That's still, I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it right over here. It's, I'm so indecisive. I'm so indecisive. You guys should know this by now that I'll just, I'll just be like, derp, the entire time. Derp, derp. Just the major thing, I just want to clear out these trees. That's like one of the most major thing. I'm like, oh, trees for days. It's like starting over. I gotta pound trees with pork chops. Alright, here is an establishment that I'm looking for. You know what I want to do? I want to build my house like here. I know this is kind of weird, but... I don't know, it's just it's it just seems convenient to me. It's like where the ocean front is, I can build a dock here. We can sail back out to our place after taking out the boss, the hell things are over there. This just seems like the spot. You're like, what do you mean? What are you doing? I'm building building my house like in midair. <laughs> it just seems it seems correct. This seems like the winning formula.
So let's go ahead and jump down into that cave and see if we can't find some iron, some coal, just all those great essentials that we are going to need to have ourselves a good time here. Because I don't know about you guys, but I want to have a good time. I don't want to mess up and do anything stupid. I don't know. I just know we also need to get some more sheep, so just definitely keep that in mind. So how have you guys been doing? I hope you guys have been doing really well. Um, just a little bit of a little bit of advertisement. We have t-shirts for sale. If you guys watch the intro to this video, we have that logo on a t-shirt for sale. And oh my god, the elf hunter just showed up. But the t-shirts we have for sale, they're $25 and I only have like five of them left. And it'd be really cool if you guys could order the last few and then I could work on getting the new designs printed and getting the new shirts ordered. So if you guys are interested and you could help a duck of pin gaming out a little bit by ordering a shirt, it would uh, be really appreciative. And uh, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so check out our shirts. If you can't afford to order one, please do. We ship all the way around the world. It'll just cost a little bit more to ship out of the uh, U.S. It just costs a little bit more. So that apparently circles back to here. Which is cool. Which is cool. It circles back in front of this boss. So since I already startled him, I guess we'll try to fight him. I hope he doesn't whip my ass because uh, we'd spawn back uh, at our village. And I can't say that would be the best thing ever. There he is. Holy shit. Look at him. He's like... He's like Arrow Master for days over in this motherfucker. Oh, man. I'm Arrow... Oh. His bow, like, hurt me a little bit. Screw him. I'm Arrow, I'm Arrow Master, not him. We're so just shooting arrows at each other. It's hilarious. I will say, though, he has more life than I do, so I'm trying to, like, strategize this really well. <laughs> Look at me fighting another one of these bosses. About to get a shitload of XP that I can't spend. Is this too cheap? I'm sorry. I think he's cheap. He, he, has, like an, he has, like, an automatic... It's like uh, when a 1.8 first came out, or when a Minecraft for 360 first came out, and you just hold down the bow and arrow, and it would just fire, 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 fire. Is this too cheap? I'm going to get him halfway to about the S, and I'll just go try to take him with my sword, because I do think this is a little cheap. It's a little bit. But, you know, I can't say it's like poison arrows aren't cheap either. Dude, fuck my life. He's like pushing me back so bad. Dude, screw this guy. Where does he get off being able to shoot me a thousand fucking dimes? Well, he's not getting off in my book being able to shoot me a billion times. Okay, he might. Come on. Don't want to be poisoned forever. Can't believe this dude's over here cheating, dude. He has like a fucking... He has one of those modded controllers. <laughs> You're cheating. You're a hacker. I will come back for you, son of a bitch. You're not going to come up here and be a hacker of me and be shooting these poison fired arrows. He has like enchantments on his fucking arrows. This dude's getting it. I'm just taking him out from here. He's a douchebag. Alright, so the elf, I would say, is overpowered. The fire dude is extremely overpowered. The sand guy is, he's pretty neutral. He might even be a little underpowered, but he's pretty cool. And I'm not sure what the last person is. I know there's four of them. Maybe we'll run into one. And I ran out of arrows. So I'm going to really have to boss mode this, or I'm not, not going to be able to get this motherfucker. Got him that time. Did you drop an arrow? That'd be cool. Ugh. Ugh. Like picking up his arrows. Oh, come on with this stupid poison crap. Kiss my ass in this hole. I'm getting poison shit. I'm about to destroy this guy. We're about to. When I get my life healed, he's done. 
Anyways, what do you guys think about the elf hunter? It's kind of weird. He's overpowered as fuck. But if you like him, let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, we're almost done with this mod. Once I actually show you guys the last boss, I'm going to turn this mod off. Because, you know, it's kind of OP. It gives me a lot of XP and it's kind of cheating a little bit. I guess, you know, I would know about cheating, huh? I can hear you guys already, but still. This stupid fucking dude. This dude is such a little bitch, man. It's pissing me off. Thinking his ass can just... It sucks. His arrows are el elemental. Like, he'll shoot ten arrows at me. One of them will be fire. One of them will be poison. One of them will fucking throw me back ten feet. It's annoying as shit. I'm trying to do something like some strategy on this dude. God, this dude is such cheap. I'm not dying because this stupid ass elf wants to fucking be a cheap ass bitch. Whoa, feel better now? Yeah, feel better now? You're hurting yourself. Look at this, I don't even have to hurt you. You're doing it your damn self because you're an idiot. Come on, kill yourself with your own, with your own fucking arrows. Wow, punk. He even dropped a bow. Oh, no wonder he freaking was owning me so hard. He had like the best bow I've ever seen. <laughs> so yeah, I cheated again. What do you guys think about that? We should make this our house. Screw that other thing. This is our new house. We're taking over this bitch. It's getting dark though, and I did not find the amount of sheeps I needed to make another bed. Which is lame, but I don't mind. I will camp here for the night. Screw it. Maybe I'll be able to find some iron. Especially how I just keep I keep I keep busting into different kind of areas. We will see though, we will see. Let me dig down some. My pick's almost gonna die though. We might have to go back to making some uh, stone stuff. Until I actually do find some iron. I guess I should probably just actually look for iron inside the cave instead of dig for it with my pick so busted, but but maybe doing what I did was a good idea because we found some fucking iron. Apparently another spot too. Damn, that was a lot of iron too. It's pretty awesome. And now, we have ladders that lead right down, but we also have a very broken pickaxe, which is completely gone now. So I'm just going to light this up a little bit, get like an idea of the surroundings. Maybe kill this noob, because I do want his stuff. Gosh, these areas just go on and on and on, like they're never ending. So in the next episode, we will explore some caves. We will put together some sort of house. We will get established in this area. It's like we're starting like a whole new fresh LP. So I hope you guys are totally into that. I hope you guys like the idea. Hell, if you guys want me to go back to the old spot and just keep on building and do what we were doing, we can as well. But let me know what you guys want me to do. You guys want me to uh, keep on staying focused on fighting the, uh, the new boss, the wither guy? Or should I just, I don't know venture back home and say screw it all we will find out though it is still pretty dark and um i don't know and i started building this house over here but now i'm like i'm gonna take over that other dude's area instead because i killed him and he was a total douchebag ran out i ran out of arrows at the la wrong time all right so that's in the, the video i'm gonna do some stuff just to get established here with the things i have and i will see you guys in the next video thank you guys so much for watching leave in the comments what you think about the huge changes in duckcraft 3.0 and i hope you like them because change is always good we're switching it up we're doing different stuff talk to you guys later dust can fly peace